today, you know, we, we will talk about deposit, deposit on, uh, on bottles which are made of PET. PET is a great material. Mm. It's a plastic, of course, but it's, uh, it's one of the most precious plastic uh, that are produced. It's precious because uh, it's very uh, uh, good mechanical characteristic, but especially because it's definitely 100% recycled. It's a material who can have many lives, who can, uh, who can be reused in bottles or can be reused in textile, can be reused in many, in many, in many other ways. The beverage industry has been very responsible in, the, in, in, uh, in his, uh, in his uh, let's say, uh, doing business because they choose this material, because they normally uh, support uh, the extended producer responsibility schemes, uh, so they take care, they, they establish themselves or they participate on those schemes, they take care to, to finance uh, collecting system, and uh, many of them, and my company is one of those, time to time they also try to uh, stimulate the consumer to behave uh, responsibly, putting the bottle into the right uh, bin. So, as an industry so far, I think we have been one of the most responsible industry. Uh, we have done everything that was supposed to be done, uh, and if uh, the uh, recycling, the collecting, you know, the collecting uh, um, number are not always exciting, is I would say more connect with the consumer laziness than with the producer effort. So that's where we are now in Czech Republic, for example. Uh, the the statistics are more or less saying that uh, we collect very high number, 70% or more or less, but one of the best in Europe. And so we could say that uh, we, are, we, we are, we should be happy. We should not complain, I mean, we are leading Europe in terms of number. But, but if this material is so precious, has so good quality, can have so many lives, how come that it doesn't have a value? It means once our consumer buy it, buy the bottle, and they buy the content, they don't buy the packaging, then the package has no value. That's strange, no? I mean, recycled PET you can buy for 1,000 euro, but the consumer can get nothing for that, oh, there is no value. 1,000 euro ton is maybe the cost of steel, so how come that uh, uh, there is no value? So that's the biggest problem. That's why we don't reach even better collecting uh, 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 numbers. That's why in some country it's down to 20% or less. How come that the valuable material has no value, has no price, has no? So uh, that, that's the weak point. We need to put a value on the material. Because only if we give the material its right value, then it will be collected, it will go through, through its schemes. So in certain countries, in Africa, for example, they really pay. They pay the people who take the, 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 the bottles back. But of course, these people, they are happy with relatively little money, which our people won't be happy. So that would not be big motivation for Western developing Europe, uh, because we are spoiled. So since we are spoiled, we have to put a bit stronger incentive. And then what remain? Remain a deposit. A deposit is, uh, is, uh, is an amount which is enough high to be relevant for the people to convince them to take care of the material, so to bring it back and, uh, and, uh, and um, make sure that it doesn't go in landfilling in, uh, in the seas. We saw all see the disaster which, which, uh, which uh, the, the, the plastic into the, into the sea are, are creating. Not big of these plastic is bottles, huh? despite what we see in the picture. The truth is that, thanks God, our product is not very much going into the sea, and especially not the Europeans one, for sure, but still, uh, still uh, it's going there. So thinking about this concept, uh, we realize that uh, we cannot simply be happy with the, with the good numbers we have. We need to do more. And we need to do more because uh, uh, our, uh, 
material allowed to do that. So uh, why not? Why not to be an example? Why not to be an industry who is able to set one of the first fully circular system? We can. We have, uh, we have uh, example of country like Germany uh, who collect, and, and we will have some also some speaker uh, from, uh, from Baltic country, who collect uh, uh, more than 90%. So why not go through there? And we know that uh, the material which is collected through the deposit system, it's very clean. It's a very high quality, which is uh, a requirement in order to put it back into our bottle. Our product, water, is one of the most uh, pure, sensible, difficult product to be made. So we have to make sure that anything which is in contact with the product is of the highest quality. And we don't have this from the yellow bean. Mm. The yellow bean got anything, and so it's tricky. So we need to, re in order to put recycled material into our bottle, we need to make sure that the quality is high. So that's coming from the deposit system. So we, have, we can collect, collect a lot of material. We can use in our bottle, if it is clean, a lot of material, so we can finally close the circle. And I'm sure that the deposit if the, is the first step in order to reach this target. Therefore, we start this project. <laughs> it's moving forward. It's a study, of course. We, we don't want to, you know, we are not imposing any, anything to anybody. We have heard a lot of sometimes uh, um, concern about a bit uh, unilateral approach. Why not? Huh? I'm, we, have the right to, we have the right to make our own studies, and we have the right to promote those studies and the outcome of those studies, and we hope that, uh, that uh, more and more uh, let's say stakeholder would agree with us. Actually, some of them start to to agree with us. So, so we believe this is the this is the right direction, and uh, I'm personally pretty sure that uh, that uh, the numbers and the outcome of the study will confirm it. Um, as an industry, uh, last week uh, we have pledged the. Mineral Water Industry in Europe has pledged to uh, put the biggest effort, they cannot do it directly because it's not in the industry so far responsibility to collect, but put all their pressure to reach by 2025 90% of collection and, uh, and at least 25% of recycled material into their own bottle. This is EU average, you know, average is very, um, so it means certain country that will be much, much higher uh, percentage in order will be lower. So us as a company and being very active in the, in the European Federation, I'm the vice president, we definitely uh, uh, use the same pledge. And for us it's really at least we think that we are, we will be able to do even better and we take the occasion today to present something that we are going to soon to introduce into the market that I have down here. And you will receive it, also some sample. These two bottles are produced with 50% recycled material. And they look good, I think. And uh, it's possible. It's possible. This will be sold into the Czech market. It will be the first product with recycled material, uh, let's say, uh, for the brand Mattoni. Not the first in our group, but the first for the brand Mattoni. We believe today that technology is good enough to guarantee the high quality of our product and have the recycled material. And following these two SKU, uh, there will be more and more. And uh, who knows? I hope that if the old industry pledged 25% by 2025, our group that try always to be in the front line will be maybe 50. Depends on the availability of the material, depends on the technology. But if we don't have clean material, we cannot do that. And we go back again to the, to the deposit. We know that uh, circular economy, which is what we should aim for, require for the 
material to circulate. And the question is how? Someone say we should have reusable bottles. I would say not necessarily. We need to have reusable material. And that is connected by the, by the uh, very, let's say, delicate uh, uh, characteristic of our product. We need to have very high quality control. And therefore, a reusable bottle and not, and not so, so good. We know that glass bottle are not as good as is uh, thought. Because if we do the real study, LCA study on the glass bottle, they don't perform uh, so good. PT bottles are good as long as you solve the problem of the material. So I think that using a deposit system, collecting 90 and more percent of, uh, of uh, material, use 80 or more percent of recycled material into the bottle, which is technically possible and will be more and more technically possible in the future, is the solution. To use a reusable bottle, when sometimes you have that reusable bottle for water, you can maybe use it three times, but at the end of the day, it weighs three times more. So what is the point? <laughs> because the amount of plastic for single use is still the same. It's for us not the solution. The solution is to, is to uh, finally uh, take care of the problem from the beginning in a, in a coordinated way between all the stakeholders, the industry, the retailer, the recycler, the institution, and set an example for maybe other countries, because we might be the first country in Europe to really set a complete circular system, definitely for other in industry, for their future, let's say, ambition, what they can do. So maybe I'm a bit too much a dreamer, but frankly, for the information I have, for what I see, that's not a dream. It's not something that is difficult by the technical point of view. It's simply difficult by the organization point of view. It's difficult to convince the people. It's difficult to trust me this simplicity and possibility which I feel. So I, we hope we will manage to do that today, that you always feel that we have it there. We, can, we need just to catch it and make it work. And then we will have a very sustainable industry, a very sustainable business, which for me is very important because I want to make sure first that my kids live in a better world, and second, that they will have, as I had from my father, a nice business to run. So I need to take care of my environment and I need to take care of the sustainability of my business. So that's why we are here, basically. We are here to solve all this problem. So again, thank you for, for being here with us. And, uh, and, um, and uh, I hope that uh, the, the information that will be shared today will be relevant. Actually, I know that they are, but I hope you will feel the same. And, uh, and this is another step forward in this hard work for um, get to the result to establish the first fully circular system in Europe. And please, don't be afraid. You will, we, will, we don't have many because it's uh, really has been produced in a rush, but the one who gets it, drink the water. The water is perfectly good. And this is 50% recycled bottle. Thank you very much.